I'm Sasha Cutler. I'm a registered nurse in San Francisco. I've worked with HIV, AIDS, tuberculosis, SARS, and now with coronavirus, uh, COVID-19. Infectious disease epidemics are what I do as a nurse, and it's part of the reality of, of my life. The AIDS unit at San Francisco General Hospital was one of the reasons why I came to San Francisco, actually. My first job as a nurse in 1985, I was working on an infectious disease ward, and we were beginning to see young people with these unusual diseases, what might have been called GRID, or perhaps by that time was already known as HIV AIDS. I saw that there was discrimination and unpleasant things happening, both politically and, and within hospitals. and. I was moved to want to be involved in a place where there were more people like me. It was an enormous fight. I was seeing so many people around me um, getting sick and getting sick and dying. So there was this feeling of it's the it's the end of the world, the end of times. There are many similarities and differences to how people respond to an invisible contagion. Unlike present day, um, the epidemic wouldn't be something that was visible to people outside of, uh, outside of a small community. That was both a solace that there is life outside of the hospital, as well as an example of the, the invisibility of the suffering that was going on inside the hospital. It was a community, and it was a community that was that was suffering and grieving and continuing to, to get up uh, the next day and continue to care and do the best uh, do the best that we could. My job now is an advice nurse, and that means that I was able to speak with people who were infected with coronavirus, get them to the hospital if necessary and also to provide support to people. Being there for each other is, um, is, one of the, is one of the beautiful silver linings of this horror show. The awareness that we're all mortals and we're all mortally afraid. I went in there afraid that maybe I'll get it, maybe I'll give it to my family. But when I looked in the eyes of the patient, I felt like there was something that happened there where we could see the fear in each other's eyes. I just did the, the absolute best I could to project something from myself that was providing some confidence that, uh, that, we, could, that we, could, we could get through this.